Liza out sitting beside me. Olivia McTaggart, first time we've seen her today. 3.97 is a nice and easy opening height as far as her season's gone so far. It's been a pretty standard height for her to come in at, so there shouldn't be anything tricky about it as long as she's feeling good and she's got the wind behind her, feeling ready. And she is. Ready to go. Olivia McTaggart, the favourite, enters the competition for the first time at a height of 3.97 metres. And it wobbles. <laughs> it was a big intake of breath, and I think she knows it as well. Oh, my goodness. That's so funny. Very similar to Imogen's last jump. Same thing. Beautiful height. I mean, there's no difficulty with height today, which is what got some big goals. I'd love to see her hit a world championship qualifying mark here today. 4.56 metres will get her on the plane to Doha. Is her brother there? That I was just her saw brother, Cameron, yeah. Cam Weightlifter? Yes. Weightlifter at the Commonwealth Games last year? Yeah, both of them at the Commonwealth Games representing New Zealand, of course, Olivia and Polvold and Cam and um, weightlifting. So it was great to have that. Herman and passionate person in our sport and is really why we can pursue Polvold on New Zealand um, as a world class athlete. And it's just proof all of these are as athletes. Here is one of the best two. Olivia McTaggart first attempt at 4.07. Should be able to... Oh, I've jinxed her there terribly. That's the commentator's curse. <laughs> that wasn't a great takeoff from him. You don't want it very much on 10 centimetres. So it's not an easy feat as, as Olivia is standing there. She's 16 steps today, which will probably be around 30 metres, even a bit further back than 30 metres on the runway. So... You need to be consistent. Really, really fine margins in this sport is Olivia McTaggart makes her first attempt at 4.17 metres. Nice jump. Great jump. Good form from Olivia McTaggart. She's looking really great today. That was a beautiful jump. Very easy, as we would hope at these heights. So it's great to see she's having a good day today. When you're coming down at pace like that and you're obviously wanting to you plant your pole in that box right at the edge of the map, what are you trying to sight? But also just to compete with somebody. Sometimes it just gives you a bit more adrenaline and just a bit, you know, you just fight that little bit harder sometimes. So it's, I don't think it's a bad thing at all. Olivia McTaggart. Ready for her first attempt at 4.27 metres. Strides down the makeshift runway and runs through, loses the pole in the process. It looked like there might have been a headwind on that last jump, same as Imogen, which just makes it a bit tricky when you've been dealing with the tailwind up until that point. So could just be something minor and just move on onto the next attempt, not worry too much about it. So that counts as an attempt for her? Yes, yeah, so if you run onto the mats in front of where you plant the pole, you've passed zero and so that is an attempt. Into things here. It's like Hannah's warming down, which is a good effort for an athlete after a competition. Sometimes you really can't be bothered. <laughs> but Don't listen to that advice. It's always warm <laughs> but you down. always do it anyway, even if you can't be bothered. Because yes. <laughs> when you're old and broken, you will be, you'll be glad to have warmed down. Absolutely. Right, Olivia McTaggart. Let's focus in her eyes. She's ready for this. 4.27 metres. Missed it her first attempt here. Good, strong stride down that runway and just catching that bar on the way through. Not a bad effort though. It was not a bad jump at all. She just hit it on the way down. She certainly had the space. Which of course is looming on the horizon for many. Olivia McTaggart. Missed, Last attempt. Yeah, missed twice at 4.27. Jane Stain and Nick Southgate just to the left of the runway there. Getting a clap going. Yeah. It's a big crowd have come in. They're wedged at every vantage point, looking down from on high as well as McTaggart goes for 4.27. Really nice. Easy clearance as well. Like she's been doing all season, she shows she's capable of these heights and she just clears them so easily, which is really good ahead of really easily. She might just go straight to 50, 52 even. Something something up there that will make a really big difference. But as you can see, she's really getting to the thick of the competition now. Needs to just stay calm. Keep the adrenaline flowing, but not to a level where you're just a bit shaky. You need to be in control of everything you're doing. And she'll be ready. She'll be so in the thick of the competition right now. She'll be feeling really ready to go and just confident that she's got this. Olivia McTaggart steps up onto the runway once more. 
her first attempt at 4.40 metres. She will be, of course, the women's champion. She's the only woman left in the competition. Aria Rhodes, Isabella Morel, Hannah Philpott, Imogen Eris all competed. And so now it's all on McTaggart. And she looks nice and relaxed, doesn't she? Ready to go. Got the crowd all behind her at 4.40 having just made a great clearance at 4.27. Up she goes. No, she doesn't. <laughs> and runs through. Oh, dear. First attempt. It can be a bit hard when you've just had a really good jump. You've just got to refocus for the next one. And sometimes that first attempt isn't the best jump. And in this case, just didn't feel right. Pulled out. But two more attempts to go. She just needs to stay calm. Just everything that she's been doing up until this point has been really great. So nothing new needs to happen. Just sometimes you need to stop thinking. It's a so far here at the Huawei P30 Vertical Pursuit. Here goes McTaggart. Nice. Oh, pole snap. Oh, my goodness. Looks like she's probably okay. Well, she oh, would have got hand, hit hard by yeah. this, though. Oh, that's unfortunate. The pole just... You heard the, that as well before the, it even happened. That was a loud bang. As long as her hand's okay, we. This official here is a doctor, which is fortunate. Well, that's helpful. But it looks like oh. her hand's in one piece, which is important because. Oh, well done. That's a really, run, really sore. And um, even like, I wouldn't be surprised if the pole hit her at some point when it snapped on the back of the head or something. That that can happen as well. So. Hey, so but what was usually, the fright that comes oh, with it too. Abs and I was just going to say usually the best thing you can do is just get on and do another jump straight away if you're if you're you know physically medically fine to keep going sometimes the best thing to do is just to get on and do the next jump because that's the best way mentally just to get on and it looks exactly yeah. like that's what she's going to do wow what great grit and determination for it. whether she can continue on here olivia mctaggart would be a great shame if the snapped pole ends her competition particularly when she is really hitting some good form. A lot of tension around in the faces of the crowd who've come here to yes. watch too, and I guess it's the rarity of being able it to is. compete at home. It's the rarity of a pole snap as well. I mean, it's a bit of a shock for everybody because, it, 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 you know, it happens, but it doesn't, it's, it's a rare thing. But it looks like she's going to give it her best shot to get into the air again, which would be a great feat for her. This is really gutsy from Olivia McTaggart. Oh no, she's sore every time she tries to grip that pole in around the wrist and a thumb and I don't know if she's going to be able to. Sometimes it's not worth it, you know, you've got a lot, she's got a lot on this year. She's got Oceania Champ but also the World University Games. Those are big competitions. It'll be her first World Universities. Actually her first Oceanias as well. So they're not competitions worth just throwing away Unfortunately, sometimes you have to make the right decision, but we will see what she decides. Of course, with world champs, yeah. end of the year is a possibility as well. Sometimes it's just better to leave it, but we don't know. We'll see how she's going. This, she might be capable. This isn't her last competition where she'll be able to try and get a world champs qualifying uh, jump by any stretch of the imagination. Yes, absolutely. She's got the time. Oh, she's determined though, isn't she? She is absolutely <laughs> determined that she's going to get up and have another go. You can just see the official there to the right with the stopwatch. So because she is the last woman in the competition, she does have a bit more time between vaults. And here she goes again, wants to do this. See if it's mind over matter a little bit, if the body is going to allow Olivia McTaggart. Here she goes at 4.40, the pole snap last time. She's injured and she's just a bit uncertain. And I think you can probably understand why. Oh, she's just asking if that is her third attempt. And it, look, it looks like she got a nod of you. That's Maybe it, it wasn't. What? Like. <laughs> 4.40 4 doesn't appear to be looking at the thumb and wrist quite as much now. No. She's a gutsy person. She will not give up knowing Olivia McTaggart. She will be doing her best to finish this competition one way or another. Even just getting in the air is a great achievement after this. But there she's determined. You can yeah. see that in her eyes. <laughs> There's a steely look in the eyes of McTaggart. Here she goes again at 4.40. Guts and grit and determination. Nice. McTaggart at 4.40. Oh, just pulled out just a little bit short. But it's been an incredible effort from this young woman, the New Zealand champion. That was great to see her get in the air and start a rock back. I mean, 
a rock back being when you swing yourself around and upside down. That was a really great effort because that's so important after a snap. It just makes it a lot easier for yourself next time around. So even though she didn't clear it, getting back in the air was a great achievement and unfortunately not the way she probably would have wanted. Imogen Arison, gee, there's been plenty of action, that's for sure. Gosh, a lot of shock around the place as well when that pole snapped, but she showed real guts and heart to have another crack and it's been an excellent season for Olivia McTaggart, an athlete of fabulous promise and we cannot wait to watch her over the next few months in an attempt to get to that world championship qualifying standard. And even that